Good morning and happy home vlog. Uh, home vlog. Home vlog. <laughs> the baby's asleep. Oh yeah. Bandit's asleep. We put him in this really cute little outfit though, so we should show it to you when he's awake. Yeah, because <laughs> we have him covered in a blanket. It's very cold today. Yeah, it, when I woke up, it was forty-four degrees outside. Well, I say it's very cold, and I understand that you guys are probably going to leave comments that are like, "That's not cold." It's cold to us today. Well, but here's the thing: it was literally like eighty yesterday. Yeah, now it's what did you say? Forty. Forty-four outside. Well, it's like you know how it is, like when you wake up cold, then it's just like cold the rest of the day. Yeah. In the house, because mm -hmm. you don't want to turn on the heater for no reason. Well, oh no! Now you're tired and you're <laughs> yawning. Sorry. That's something that definitely happened. Is we didn't get a lot of sleep last night. No. Oh, so I think we're going to stay in today and try to like catch up on some sleep and just try to like take it easy because like yeah I'm just exhausted yeah he's been like feeding a lot at night and for a long time mm -hmm. and then after he eats he's just like awake so we've been doing this thing where like I'll get up and feed him well actually we'll both get up you'll change his diaper I'll get ready to feed him I'll feed him he'll feed for like an hour sometimes like what the other night he fed for like an hour and a half because what he does is he, you guys you guys told us about this he's he's a lazy eater so mm -hmm. he falls asleep and then we have to wake him up and then he starts eating again then he falls asleep and then we have to wake him up and then he starts eating again sorry he's like wiggling around oh no don't do that <laughs> stay asleep <laughs> he just went to sleep for like i don't know i guess he's been asleep for maybe like 20 or 30 minutes yeah but what bandit and now bandit's getting angry with us oh no what the heck <laughs> but so he we can't like keep him feeding for like consistently right so it just takes a really long time for him to like become full right and then he's just awake yeah so then i'll try to sleep for a little bit and then you'll like rock Soothe him and yeah yeah so it's just been like hard it was a rough night yeah bandit you're waking the baby okay. it's really just me <laughs> it is you but well maybe we'll show you here look let's look at how cute he is okay there he is look at how cute he is <laughs> right bandit bean you're so cute yeah you're a cutie oh no oh, bye this is him right here. There he is. Oh, you can't see his outfit. It has a little crab on it. He's got little crab toes too. Where is it? Oh, there, oh no, he got scared. There's a little crab. Let's see if we can see his little crabby toes. Oh, he has little crabby toes. He's adorable. <laughs> but he is, uh, he, he sleeps. He's, he's like a funny little sleeper. He's like, fight me. <laughs> Come at me, bro. Yeah. <laughs> what, mate? <laughs> also if anybody's wondering this blanket is from uniqlo it's so cute one of our friends got it for us well she got us like a bunch of these little blankets and um a bunch of little onesies and the stuff at uniqlo is so cute i love their disney stuff so now jen's working on the video from yesterday where i mm -hmm. went and rode rise of the resistance i mean spoiler alert if you haven't seen it <laughs> i did get on the ride well and i totally forgot that we did the top 10 videos of 2019 which ended with spoiler alert rise of the resistance yeah and then we did a video where you went and rode rise of the resistance again yeah so sorry it was a little bit repetitive but that just shows you how good the ride is yeah but also the majority of this video is me like trying to get a boarding pass oh so yeah it's more about that yeah and then like exploring hollywood studios Another also thing... trying to find breakfast at hollywood studios was very difficult why didn't you go to Ronto Roasters? I ended up going to Docking Bay 7, like spoiler alert. Oh, I didn't get to that but part yet. <laughs> Ronto Roasters, everything had a line. There oh. was a there was a long line. I didn't do mobile. I did mobile ordering at uh, Docking Bay 7, and I could have done it at Ronto Roasters, but I felt like I wanted... What I really wanted was the potato barrels in Toy Story Land, but even the mobile ordering line was crazy long for that. Oh, gotcha. And then I figured the line for Ronto's Roasters was also busy, and so I was like, I'm going to do Docking Bay 7 because I think I'll get my food quick, and I did. Okay, because yeah. the food isn't as good there? No, it's not. <laughs> um, that's one thing I cannot wait to do. I cannot wait to go back to the parks. Yeah. I want to go back to the parks and eat all the food. I want to go back to the parks and ride all the rides. And um, I think we're going to do that in the next couple of months here. Yeah. And that's something I wanted to ask you guys is, so we've been doing like these experiments where we like went to Three Bridges and then we went to Disney mm -hmm. Springs. We went to Target. And we went to Target. Where else with, should we with go the baby. with the baby? Yeah. So, like, we don't want to go to the parks yet. We don't want to go where it's intensely crowded, which I well, feel like Disney Springs was pretty crowded, but not as crowded as a park. I think we just want to wait to go to the parks until he gets his two-month shots. Yeah. And then even then, I think we have to wait a couple of weeks for them to be, like, fully... Effective, yeah. Yeah, so we... I don't... So, I know a lot of you guys have been leaving comments about, like, 
I can't wait to see you guys go to Disney. When are you going to go to Disney with the baby? We are, but it's just going to be probably two more months from now. Yeah, probably going to be in March sometime. So just to give you guys like a heads up of like, don't wait around. You know what I mean? Like, don't think it's going to happen tomorrow. It's probably right. going to happen in March. Right. But we do want to, we are still going to like go to the restaurants at Disney with yeah. him. Somewhere it's like not as intense of a scene yeah. with so many people. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. Where should we go? Yeah. Where is it? Where should we go? Well, we don't necessarily only have to do Disney, though, either. Yeah, like, we can, we can do, go like, to, Universal. Yeah, we can go to, like, City Walk. We can go to... iDrive. I don't know if I want to take him to iDrive. I mean, like, to a restaurant on iDrive. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, well, take him on the on the Sky Coaster. And, like, take him on the... On the, <laughs> the Star Flyer. Star Flyer. <laughs> um, we could take him up in the in the eye, the icon. I don't know if I want to do that. Why not? I don't know. Is that You're scary? scared of it? No, Maybe. you've done it, like, twice, I think. Well, for the baby. It's not scary for the baby. How is it scary? He doesn't even know what's going on right now. <laughs> That's true. Um, another thing I wanted to mention, because we got a few comments about it in yesterday's, yesterday meaning two days ago's video, um, the, the top 10 ride video. Um, you mentioned that these were your top 10 rides in 2019. Right. So they were rides that you were either excited to ride a bunch in 2019 or that opened in 2019. Yeah. Or um, just having to do with 2019. And a lot of people were surprised that Pandora didn't make it on your list. Yeah, I'm. I'm. They. The. I think the reason why Skyliner overtook because a lot of people were like, you were more excited to ride Skyliner than to ride something in Pandora. Yeah. Well, Skyliner opened in 2019. It was new. Right. In 2019. And yes, I am more excited to ride Skyliner than anything in Pandora. I'm not as big of a fan of Flight of Passage and Navi River Journey as other people are, and this is stuff that I've. Yeah, you are. <laughs> And we've talked about this. Uh-huh. Like, you came off of Flight of Passage, like, weepy and teary-eyed. Yeah. And I came off like, eh, it was okay. I'll link that video down below. But it was just such a, like, I don't know. It's like an emotional ride. It's very beautiful. Yeah. See, like, and Rise of the Resistance is way, way better than Flight of Passage in my mind. But I have talked to people that think that Flight of Passage is better than Rise of the, Res- Rise of the Resistance. I mean, it's all subjective. Like, yeah. it's all up to, like, what you like. Yeah, it's so- an opinion. Not a fact. Right, right, exactly. So, like, if, if our list, our, our list, your list, I didn't ride anything. I, I rode, like, zero rides this year or last year. But if, if your list was different, it doesn't mean that, like, what you picked is not valid. Yeah. It just means that you have different tastes. Just as, like, a spoiler or, like, a little behind the scenes, riding on a golf cart through Fort Wilderness almost made the list. That's so fun, though. It is so fun. Yeah. But, like, I would rather do that than ride Flight of Passage. I see, and I really would like to buy a golf cart. I don't think that we should buy one because I don't think we need one, but I I want to because they're just that fun. Right. Um, So I feel like the golf carts would have been on my list. Yeah. Because I I think it's something that we do every year. It's like a tradition now. Yeah. Another thing, sorry, this is going to be the world's longest intro, but another thing um, on when we did our New Year's Eve video and we did our grape wishes... I got a few comments that were like, Jen, I can't believe that seeing Harry Styles in concert wasn't on your grape list. And you're right. Like, what was I thinking? I don't know. He's coming to Orlando in, I think, August 7th. Okay. Is that what it is? It's either it's either August 7th or August 9th. And yeah, I should have put that on my grape list. Should have put it on the list. Because I want that to happen. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, what the heck? What the heck? You could visit, visit Aroda. I want to. <laughs> Everybody that's like, what is a Rota? Yeah. <laughs> Secret. That's what it is. No, it's not. It's if a Harry a, Styles if, thing. If you're a Harry Stan, you already know what's up. Yeah. And that's apparently is me because I oh, know what's up. The baby. Oh, no, I'm talking too loud about Harry Styles. So I have a pro tip for you guys. If anybody out there is, is getting ready to have a child, um, they say to save up some meals, like get some frozen meals, have some people bring you meals. And I thought, eh, probably for like a month or so. Incorrect at least three months <laughs> like we we had so much frozen stuff it's all gone well we have a couple of things so we're gonna do a frozen meal tonight it doesn't look very delicious though is the only thing but it's like the only thing we have to eat and it's seven o'clock we just got the video up so it's like now we can start our night yeah. but now we need to start getting him ready for bed right and we still haven't eaten so it's like where did the day go right i don't know so i think nursing him every hour is what's really so time consuming and it's really tough to like nurse him for like an hour because he's been he's been eating i think i'm just not producing a lot of milk and so he kind of eats for a long time and then we try to get him like ready to you know to go down for a nap and then by the time he actually goes down i need to feed him again 
Oh, no. Do you not love your swing anymore? He, he loves his swing, but just occasionally he's like, I'm done with this swing now. Oh, no. I think this might be one of those times. All right. Well, maybe we'll put him in the carrier. Yeah. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. So this is what we're having tonight. Some chicken Florentine. Looks pretty good. The last meal that we had, that was the Green Wise bag meal, turned out actually very delicious. It was an orange chicken one, and I'm kind of excited for this one. See if it's as good as the last one we had. When something starts out looking like this, it really does make me feel like we're having future food because it's like a brick of food that's gonna turn into a delicious meal. Well, I'd say it's turning out looking pretty good. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. I'm gonna be honest with you. What? It kind of smells like baby formula. Does it? A little bit to me. I, I think Maybe not just... anymore. Maybe when it was first first starting to cook. Oh no! I think that's just you have like baby on the brain. I think so. <laughs> hey, welcome back. <laughs> Thanks. I just took a shower. I feel so much better, and I got to like finally brush my teeth. I think that's the thing that's been the hardest for me is like not waking up and immediately getting ready for the day. Right. Because you... you immediately wake up and it's like time to get time to take care of the baby. Yeah, and like nurse him and like just to do the baby's more important than me like taking a shower. Right. So to take a shower just feels so nice. I feel so much better. But then we just ate dinner. Yeah, and by the way, uh, the Tim Tracker, where you get the hard-hitting reviews of some Publix Greenwise frozen uh, meals. Don't buy them. Oh, the first one, the orange chicken one, was pretty good. It was okay. I mean, this was not good. Yeah, no, I would. It needed salt and pepper. Yeah. Uh, and it smelled like baby food. It was just like, it didn't taste like anything. And the chicken was like... Um, like dry for something that was like a, in a sauce. It's yeah. hard to get dry chicken in a sauce. So I think we're gonna try to do some, maybe we'll try to figure out some other recipes that we can do that are more Yeah. like, and I think I, like you guys have been saying that I need to be eating a more bland diet so that he's not so gassy. And so I know that this was probably like better than some of the other things I was eating for him. Right. But I need to figure out like, I need a happy medium. Right. Like stuff that has flavor, but is still bland like not spicy and all that right so we gotta figure that out yeah and we used to get plated but they like closed yeah so we've been looking at other ones and i think we're gonna sign up for was it sun basket i think so was that it do any of you guys use sun basket if you do let us know what you think but it looked like the most interesting of all the ones we looked at yeah but so. then it also had like a lot of like rice and quinoa dishes yeah like, like protein bowls almost did it i think so we looked look at again. so many. I know, yeah. I'll have to look again and see. But now, but... it's time for some pumpkin pie. We still have pumpkin pie from Thanksgiving. I hope it's still good. Oh, it was good. from Christmas. Oh, was it from Christmas? Yeah. Okay. It was not that old. That wasn't that long ago. We yeah. can eat it. Yeah. Six hours later, <laughs> the video is exporting over there. The little babe is waking up. And, uh, <laughs> and he looks so cute in his little crabby outfit. He's been pretty crabby today, so I feel like this outfit is, uh, uh-oh. Is he going? Is he going to do it? He's got that concerned look on his face, though, where he's like... <laughs> also, this carrier has been a lifesaver, because if we would put him down in the bassinet, he would probably only sleep for, like, an hour. But I can walk him around in this and then put him down in the bassinet, and he'll sleep for longer. And it's real nice. And people were asking why Jen doesn't wear this. Because we haven't, we haven't like practiced with her yet. It takes yeah. some practice to like get into this thing. But also, usually I'm like doing something, like yeah. I'm editing the video or I don't know. So it's been it's been nice to have Tim like to help while I'm trying to get the videos done, so that he can sleep a little bit. I like his little face where he's making that like I'm ready to eat now. <laughs> I know I gotta feed him. Okay, let me feed him. We'll be right back. Okay, real quick. Here's the box from our pumpkin pie that we got from Publix. And I was getting ready to throw it out, and I noticed something. Here on the back, it says the serving size is one-fifth of the pie. So that means that they were expecting you to cut this pie into five slices? <clears throat> How do you even do that? Like, normally you would just cut it like this, right? I think you have to, you'd have to do something like, you have to make a star. That's ridiculous. Nobody does that. Get out of here, Pollux. I wanted to give you guys an update on our good fortune pig. So far, it's doing pretty good. Its ears are starting to get a little bit brown, but other than that, holding strong. I wonder when the pennies are gonna fall out. That's when our good luck comes true, or good fortune. Something happens, I think, when the pennies fall out. It is absolutely amazing 
how much, by the way, it's the next morning. It's absolutely amazing how much of a difference it makes getting a good night's sleep versus uh, Jackson waking up a bunch in the middle of the night. So yesterday, Jackson woke up three times and then he would, he like stayed awake for a while. He stayed awake for like an hour each time and he wouldn't go to sleep. Tonight, he woke up once and went right back to sleep after eating and it was fantastic. Like we got a full eight hours of sleep uh, like in the two bursts, first one was like five hours or four and a half hours, and the second one was three and a half hours. Amazing. Like, I, I feel good. I feel great. I feel like I could conquer the world. I had talked to me a little bit later today, and we'll see how I still feel, but right now, I feel fantastic. So I already told them how great last night was. Oh, I was gonna say, like, today is so much better than yesterday. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. Like, it feels good? Well, I'm sure Are you, you guys... a morning person now? Um, I wouldn't say that. Oh, okay. Well, I am. I've always been a morning person. No, you have. I think we're totally opposite in that way where I'm like, I'll stay up all night. I'll like, that's when I, before the baby, I would stay up and do all the like housework at night. Right. Like I would, before I went to bed, I would like do the dishes, fold the laundry, like get all that stuff done. And then I felt like, okay, now I can go to sleep. And I think you were different where you would like. I would leave that until the morning. Yeah. And then I would wake up and like, now I can wake up. Right. So we worked We worked good that way as far as like being opposites that way. But no, I don't think I'm a morning person yet. Oh. <laughs> but Jackson did so good last night. Um, the one thing that we did find out is that uh, we only have one long sleeve onesie that fits him. Because we have newborn and we have three to six months. Oh, yeah. We don't have any zero to three. We have one zero to three. And that's the crab one that we showed you guys yesterday. So he's wearing that again today. Um, we need to order some more. Yeah. But he's not fitting into the newborn, like, lengthwise. Right. He fits into it, like, body size-wise, like, mm -hmm. width-wise, I guess. But he's just too tall. Like, you just yeah. measured him. And how long was he? 23 inches. Yeah. Uh-oh. Hold on. He's making some noise. Oh, he's being a little smiley babe. Isn't he? Oh, no. He's being a grumpy babe. <laughs> I thought he was smiling for, like, a second. It kind of looked like he was. Bandit's helping. Yeah, Bandit's always helping. You're doing great, Bandit. <laughs> yeah, that's a little smile right there. Look at that little smile. No. Oh, it went away. Yeah. He, when he actually does a smile, it's so super cute because it's usually right before he's like farting. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. If your name is Jackson and you're really handsome, come on, raise your hand. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Here it is. <laughs> so yeah, this has been an exciting video so far. <laughs> Two days well, worth. I think what it was is that yesterday we were really having a hard time with... Oh, that was a weird noise. <laughs> it was. He was like <laughs> yawning and he was like, ah. Yeah, he's comfortable. Well, I think he's starting to like use his sounds. He's like, starting to coo. Yeah, like he understands that he makes noise though. Yeah. Like he... Do you know what I mean? I don't know if I'm explaining that right, but he... He's making different noises other than just crying. Yeah. Whereas before he was either not crying or crying. <laughs> oh, that's what we were saying is he doesn't fit into his onesies, his like long pants onesies, like his pajamas, his footy pajamas, mm -hmm. because he's too long now because he's 23 inches. When he was born, he was 21 and a half. Yeah. We so got two he... different measurements, actually. He was 21 or 21 and a half. I don't know which one it actually was. They told, like literally the hospital told us two different ones. <laughs> and so... Uh, but their their way of measuring him was not super uh, scientific. They like had a piece of paper underneath him and they just like drew two lines and then measured the two lines, which is what I did to measure him. But yeah, Aww. so it's twenty three inches now like, yeah. on the dot, almost twenty, almost two feet tall. I know. I can't believe how long he is. And he's gained like a pound and a half mm -hmm. since birth, which is amazing. Yeah, he's doing he's, good. He's not super chubby like i kind yeah. of thought he would be a chubbier baby because i was a chubby baby right but he's um he's just really long he's a long boy a long boy <laughs> but um but today's exciting though because he is like i think he got good sleep too yeah he got eight hours of sleep last night yeah i mean not not like collective, consecutive yeah either. yeah but and then we got good sleep and bandit slept in like i think it was just a good night last night heck yeah yeah Yay, that was a win. That's a win for us. Isn't it strange how you like feel successful? Because you got just sleep. Just because you got sleep? Yeah. Well, because like, the other day I could we're only... We're really parents. Well, no, but we're like really doing it. Because the other day he was waking up every single hour to eat. And I know I talked about this already. Oh no, are you okay, babe? Oh, he's fine. It was just a little... Eh, oh, I'm good. <laughs> um, 
He just loves looking out the window, though. I it's know, like, and I closed this blind, so now he's angry. Oh, no. Okay, yeah, we'll open it back up. But he um, he was eating every hour, so it was just making it really tough to get, like, any sleep. I know I talked about this yesterday. So just to get, like, even two hours of sleep is so wonderful. Yeah. It just feels great. Right? Yeah. So for Christmas, my sister got us this diffuser with some, I think it was eucalyptus scent. It had a special name, though, because it was, like, specifically for babies from, what is it, the Young Living Oil Company? Yeah. And so it's one specifically for babies. What was it? It was this one, whatever that is. It's supposed to be calming for babies, though. So she got us this specifically for Jackson, like, to put in the nursery or just, like, to have around him to calm him. It smells good. It smells kind of like... It reminds me of a Disney scent. Yeah, it does. It smells like eucalyptus, but it's like a eucalyptus scent. But with something else kind of like mixed in. I don't know what it is, but it is. It's very nice. Yeah, I like it. And it's the larger size diffuser, so it's like filling the whole room. Well, and it's pretty. Yeah. Like I, we've never had one of these before. I know people have had these forever. This is like a very popular thing, but we, this is the first one we've ever used. And I like it. And it has like cool lights on it. Yeah. And we yeah. can take it upstairs too and use it at night. Yeah. So hopefully that'll work for him. But last night he was pretty calm. Yeah. He's back asleep right now, too. Yeah, he actually looks so, like, peaceful and cute. Here he is. There's little Jackson in his little robot bed, rocking himself gently to sleep. But just look how, like, peaceful his face is. Sleeping like a baby. <laughs> I wish, I, I feel like this is probably what I look like when I sleep. <laughs> I wonder, like, who do you think he looks like? I think he looks like me. I do, too. I think he looks a lot like you. And you mixed. But I think he looks more like you right now. Oh. What do we think? Does he look more like you? I think he looks just like you. He just needs a little beard. <laughs> you look so peaceful. Look at your little bed rocking you to sleep. Oh no, we're waking him up. Oh no. <laughs> so all in all, today successful. Yesterday, a little bit harder. But, but I think that's just kind of like how it is. Yeah. I mean, I feel like we've already said this before, but like some days are a little easier than others. Yeah. Some days are not. Right. And I think that we just have to kind of like roll with it. I think we're doing a pretty good job of like rolling with it. I think so. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like we're just trying our best. I think we are. I think we're definitely doing better now than we were in the beginning. Yeah. Like we're, we're getting into our groove and I think that we'll just continue to do that. I do think that we may have to change our schedule a little bit. Right. Which is something that we kind of talked about last night is that we may just have to take like one day a week off. Right. Like maybe we take Sundays off or Saturdays off or like just a day off so that we have a day to like recuperate kind mm -hmm. of. I don't know. What do you think? Yeah. I just, I think we kind of like already started doing that because we took a day off last week and then the week before. Mm -hmm. So it might just be kind of like the new normal for us is like six days rather than seven. Yeah. But. Unless we like really get good at parenting. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Keep your fingers crossed for us. Yeah. Um, but we did want to also say thank you guys so much for all of the comments with like your suggestions and your advice. And we definitely are taking all of it to heart and trying to figure out what works best for us. Mm -hmm. And some of the av advice has really helped us and it's been really great. So we definitely want to say thank you for that because, yeah. you know, it takes a village yeah. to raise a child. True. It takes It takes a YouTube channel to raise a child. Yeah. <laughs> Not really, but. <laughs> but I don't know. All in all, today was good. Yesterday was hard. But mm -hmm. still, wouldn't trade it for the world. No, yeah. It's definitely worth all of the, like, struggle that we're going through. Yeah. Like, just looking at him when he is asleep, that's my favorite. Just, like, looking at him when he's so peaceful. Yeah. That's, like, one of my favorite things. Or when he's nursing is, like, another one of my favorite times because he's so just, like, content. Mm -hmm. And it's just, like, such a nice feeling. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> so, all in all fantastic day yeah and with that being said we are off we'll see you guys tomorrow and, and now, now it's time, time to pay, pay the, the price, price.